drop the brace. Hey guys, Mike and Ryan here from Full House RS, and welcome to week 54 of our week ahead series, where we talk about things that happened last week and what we plan to do this week. So, uh, yeah. what happened this week, Ryan? Uh, well, there was the Christmas event, but we already did a whole video about how bad it was. Yeah, we can go ahead and sum it up again. It sucks. It sucks. It's pretty it's boring. It's all uh, But there were other things that happened, too. There were some patch notes. And I think for the probably past three weeks, I think the patch notes have been the behind-the-scenes awesomeness of the game updates. Yeah, the ninja team. Mm-hmm. Right, so, so what happened? About some of those. Mm-hmm. All right. So the first one that they did was uh, you can customize the beam of light that comes when you get a drop over X amount, and you can set it between 50k and 1 mil. Yep, I have mine set to 50k because what 50k drop are you not going to pick up? Yeah. Typically, you pick it up even if it is just a, something to keep in your bank. It's pretty nice, especially because you know if you were low level before. You know, 50k might be a lot to you, so you can mm -hmm. just change it. Yeah, uh, one thing that is kind of disappointing is it does work for noted items. I thought it was only going to work for single items because... Oh, really? Yeah. I think it would make more sense that way. But if they don't do that, I would like it maybe if they would uh, set it to where you could change it inside like an interface so you don't have to go back to Birth Warp. Mm -hmm. If you're like doing bosses and you set it to... 100k it's gonna go off on every drop with nex but not so much with kk like some, it doesn't even go off on 50k most of the time with kk so the next thing is that you can disable the enter to quick chat mm -hmm. which is pretty nice because i really don't use quick chat that much uh i use it so it's not a problem for me but if other people had an issue might as well fix it or change it yeah i disabled mine uh, something that I don't know whether to be happy or upset about is the left click on the bankers. Uh, it's just like a lot of getting used to. I've already got used to it. I have no problems with it anymore. It makes more sense because when's the last time you've actually wanted to talk to a banker? Never. Exactly. It's kind of like when they did the... Uh... What update was it that they took it away? It was the, the oh, left, left it was, click. Yeah, it was the left click bank option when you were inside the bank interface. But that I could understand a bit more because people were trying to take one item and depositing it all. And it's like, whoops. That's a little bit different than just banking because you always bank when you're talking to a bank teller 99.9% .9 of the time. And then the 0.1% you're just trying to get your lent item back but nobody lend items anymore so mm -hmm. everything's degradable so you can't lend anything uh something else that i really appreciate is the uh six stage circuit and the completionist cape yep. they no longer well the six stage cir circuit would completely disappear and the comp cape would turn into cash but when you die with them now they'll just go into your grave like normal mm -hmm. which now, is something that really annoyed me yeah. Uh, having a completion escape for a while. It was like, if you can't buy two of them, just make it so it doesn't, like, turn into coins, because that's just, it was so annoying. Yeah, although it is a good point that somebody brought up that this completely gets rid of any need for any imbued rings. Yeah. Since the ring's already the best ring, it's a somewhat easy quest. Well, the... Six stage circuit is two point seven and the imbued ring is three. Hmm. And the only reason I really got the imbued rings was because with the de uh degrading on death thing, mm -hmm. I didn't want to yep. have to keep losing my ring. So Some... I just got the all of the imbued rings. But maybe, even still Maybe imbued rings need to be buffed a little bit. Yeah. Maybe like three point five or something. Four. Yeah, I could see them doing four would be fine. I don't know. There are, are are there other things that give four? No. No. Okay. I think three percent is the highest. Three point five then for an onyx, because the onyx itself is like two point something, right? Three. Onyx is the same as a six stage circuit. Ah. 
Oh, well, maybe they'll look into that. Who knows? So they also made it so that when you trade, you have to use, uh, you have to put in your bank pin first. Yeah. Which is kind of nice, but at the same time, they should at least put it in for dropping. Because if you get hacked, they're just going to drop trade your items. Mm-hmm. Or something. And, uh, with this, it's, I mean, it's like one step closer, but, you know. Yeah, it's getting close. Mm hmm. A few other small updates they added, which are more just, uh, usability updates, really, as I guess you could call them, is Papaya Fruit have had their use option brought up to the top instead of eat, so you won't be accidentally eating them when you're making your adrenaline potions. Yeah. Because I always did that. Um, battle staves had like a craft option, but the orbs didn't. So they added a craft option to the orbs because that's the only time thing you're actually using them for. So it's another easy thing that they could have added. And other than that, they updated a bunch of interfaces to go with the new interface setup. One of which was the, you got like the farming tools, the strange rocks and the price checker. And the price checker was really nice because they added a the all items in your inventory button where you click the button. It puts everything in your inventory into your price checker. It's one step closer to being able to price check your entire bank. Yeah. And I was thinking about that. I, I have ways that they could do it that still would make it work where if you just hit a max cash stack, it just puts it just puts 2.14 plus and then continues on until you get your entire bank up. You still have to do a little bit of math, but if that's the best they can do, it's better than nothing. Yep. And uh, you can also combine semi-used scrimshaws, which is pretty nice. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So, And speaking of scrimshaws, they moved the auras and scrimshaw icons right next to each other, which makes sense. It's a little bit... It's another thing you have to get used to, but it makes more sense to have both things that you usually activate before a boss right next to each other. Yep. And uh, one more thing, which is kind of nice considering uh, we've been using the Draken's Medallion a lot for Barrows, Mm -hmm. is that now when you teleport with it, it'll tell you how many charges there are left. Before, you just kind of had to consciously keep track. Yeah, or check every so often and hope that it's not degraded all the way. Yeah. And the last, I've been doing a lot of farm runs recently, so this is nice to know, is uh, if you water a seedling, it has a W next to it now. Instead of having to right click and examine it. Dubs. Yup. Alright, so Mike, what videos are you doing this week? Well, this week I should be able to get a Barrows video out. I was going to do it yesterday, but Ryan said, I got this video down today, and then he didn't have one because his computer is still broken. So I will I have tried. a, yeah, <laughs> I'll have a Barrows video, um, and I will have a Road to Max. For a third video, I may have something planned, but nothing is 100% yet other than those two videos. What about you, Ryan? Um, Well, I'm going to try and do one video this week, and it's going to be a road to one bill. Hopefully I can, you know, manage to do that with my computer. And uh, I know we talked about it a lot last week, but my computer has been delayed until January 2nd. It's already feeling the... uh effects of your em field and it really sucks because i was planning on having it over this break yeah it does suck and jiggy actually is working on a video he was working on it most of it today where it's going to be the practical uses of the new abilities at bosses uh the ultimate ability yet we obviously haven't unlocked yet but it's going to probably be the least useful out of these abilities the recent one devotion is probably going to be the most useful Yes. And he's going to show you the, some practical uses at bosses for that. Uh, I might be able to do a real-life video with Bob, because he's coming over to my house this week. Oh, God. Yeah. So we'll see. Going to get another paint-drawing thumbnail? <laughs> uh, Got to stick with tradition, Ryan. Yeah. That's about all we got for this video, guys. Uh Hopefully next week we have some more to talk about and hopefully we got some good videos out this week. And until then, we'll see you next time. Bye.